Okay, fam, your boy G. Rich, I'm back. I'm gonna cook. I'm be, I'm, a, I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking, probably you know while we're out and while we're home a lot, doing this, you know, this unfortunate time. But anyway, I'm gonna cook dinner tonight, and for dinner I'm gonna cook um, two big pieces of pork loin. I'm gonna put them on the grill. I saw my boy Remack cooking a pork shoulder. And he, he he did it his way, you know, all the stuff he put on it and he put it in the oven. So but I told him, I said, I'm gonna do a pork, a pork shoulder or a pork loin, and I'm gonna put it on the grill. And I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Okay, now in this pot here, I'm gonna cook some field peas with snap, smoked neck bones with a little okra in it. I know people like, well, I always, a lot of people always talk about they put okra in peas because it's, I don't know what it is. It's okra in peas is like an aphrodisiac. So you got to, you know, you, you put that thing, if you try it, you know, you will understand what I'm talking about. But it's delicious. Now over here, there's, I got my two big juicy pieces of pork loin soaking. I got to clean them all. Look at, look at all that film in there. See that? That's why you have to clean your meat. Look at that. Ooh, -ooh. They thick and they huge and they long. It probably don't look so big on this this, this uh, camera here, but you'll see when I put it on the grill. Now, right here, I got my beans. I got my beans and my okra soaking in water. I clean that off. You understand that? And then I got the I got it sitting in the uh, uh, strainer bucket in in another bowl that's filled with water. That's how you do it. You can clean it off real good that way. Okay, so I will be right back in a little bit to show you what I put in my peas and how to season my pork loin that's going on the grill my way. G. Rich will be back in your mouth. Okay, so now I got my peas in here. I got my okra already in here. And so now all you need to put in here to have it, you know, have it seasoned real good. The way you can season the way you want to, but this is the way I do it. Okay, I got two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. Last but not least. Last but not least, last but not least, one half a cup of oil. Got to add that oil in them beans, peas, and them greens. I hold that flavor in there. See? Now all I got to do is turn it down on six, cook that on six or seven for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Cook it slow, nice and neat, and it'll be ready. And by that time, and I like to, I like to overcook it sometimes, so I can, so I'll turn it down to maybe three or four after it's done, and let it just slow simmer. The sulfur and the more, you know, it just sit and stew like that. It's real good. I'll be back to show you how I season my pork loin and how I cook it. Okay, fam, I got my two pork rolls here. My pork loin, not rolls, but my pork loins here. Okay, so this is all I'm gonna put on it because I feel. But this is the way I make it. This is all I need. Look at that. All you need is a good dry rub on there. See that? That's what I use on my pork loin. And black pepper. That's all I'm going to put on there. That's it. Simple. Nice and simple. And clean. Good thing is you have to coat it good. So, you know, you, you can you you know you can taste the flavor all, on all sides of the meat. Now... On, hold on, let me show you something. On the back part here, you see the fat? I did not cut that off. I don't want to cut that off because I'm going to grill it. See, a lot of people don't know it. Let that fat cook on there, and it'll keep them coals hot. Why that, why that, that, that grease from the fat drop off into the coals? Yeah. It's the only real grill man, nobody. Nobody. You're nobody. Hold on, let me show you. All right, this the rub I'm going to put on here. Don't be scared of it. Now the rub got all the flavor, just about a lot, of, a lot of flavor in it. It's got paprika, salt, a uh, little cayenne. See that? Ground it in there. A little cayenne, and it's got a little sweetening on. Sweet paprika on it. It's good and sweet.
It's good for a loin, pork loin, especially pork loin. Rub it in there. Look at that, see it won't go anywhere. Same thing for this one. Coat it on there real good. Got the, you got the season, both sides of it, because you ever taste some meat and you try to season one side thinking, I, I don't know what they think, the flavor going to fall through the meat, the season both sides of it. No, you got the season all the way around. That way, you grind it on to it. That way, your flavor stay on the meat. See what I'm saying? Okay, hold on one second. Let me wash my gloves off. I don't want to touch that. The other um, touch the thing of black pepper. Okay. There. My boy AJ going in back there. Grind it up in there. See that? Yes, sir. Pop Pop coming to get this boy in a minute. Yeah. Voila. See, I'm going to let it sit there for about another 20 or 30 minutes. Let it marinate on there a little bit. Then I'm going to show y'all when I put it on the grill. Hold on one second. Be back. Okay, fam. As you can see, my grill hot and ready to go. Look at that. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. Anyway, I got my um my water here. What I put out to you know keep the fire under control. Yes, it don't look like water. Do it. It's got a little color on it. That's because when you're grilling, you have to use water and whatever you put on that. I try to especially salt. See, I put I put some I put a little rub in here and some salt and water, that's it. And you shake it up there. That way when you go to put the fire and you touch and skeet and put skeet and water all over the meat, it will brush the season off. But if you use salty, you know, a little salt water, it'll keep the flavor in there. Won't be salty, I got more water than anything, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. Anyway, it's ready to go on. You see that? You notice I don't have a, a, a pork rack or nothing like this here. That's because I got a rack already on here, so I don't need my pork rack. So I'm gonna put it across the top. One thing you don't wanna do, you don't wanna put any kind of, uh, 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 what is a pot roast, pork loin, or uh, uh, um, what do you call that? Oh man, the big piece of beef, or the, uh, you don't wanna put that directly on the fire like that. Sometimes I use, if you, if you know what you're doing, you can do it how you wanna do it. But it's best to cook it off the, you know, off the burner, directly on the burner. It's best to cook it up a little high a little bit. And that because I want to smoke it. You understand? Now here we go. Get ready to go in. Voila. One here. And one on the other side. Woo! Hold it right on there. Look at that. And see, when I close it, it'll rotate, rotate, bam. But so that's how it's going to go on there. Understand that? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the onions down here. Put the onions down here so the flame will shoot up and season the meat. But I mean, the steam will come up off the onions and have it smell and have that onion and flake, onion uh, smell on it. Yes, sir. Look at that. Bam. Now I'll be back periodically to showing you how it's cooking and how it's doing. G Rich out for a second. <laughs> In your mind. Okay, guys. Look how the, the peas are coming along. Look at that. <laughs> I told you. Yes, goodness. It got a long way to go. It takes a while to cook those peas. But I'm only 20 minutes in. They will be ready in an hour and 15 minutes. It'll cook down some more, you know. Now they've got all those bubbles out of it. 
a lot of people think when you when when you're boiling meat or boiling, they think you done left uh, soap residue in the pot, and it, it it bubbles up like like you got you didn't clean the pot out all the way or, or rinse the pot pretty good enough and wipe it out. No, that's not it. Anytime you can watch it, you can watch smoked meat or any kind of meat till it's pale. You still gonna get a little uh, um, bubbles come up there, and it looks like it's. Um, you know, like dishwashing liquid, but it's trust me, it's, it's not. I clean the heck out that meat, and that's that's what smoked meat does, especially when you boil it. So as you can see, the film is going, the little bubbles and stuff. So yes, it's coming along. Now I'm getting ready to show you how the pork loin is coming along. Hold on tight. Okay, fam. As you see, I took them off the right because it was time to cut the fat off the back. Remember, I left the fat on. So I, don't, I, I did one side already. I sliced it off and I put the the rub and the black pepper on the side I sliced off to keep the, keep the uh, seasonings on there, okay? Look at that. I'm going to do this side here and then I'm going to put them back on the right and go from there. I just want to show y'all what I do. Like that fat off of there. that put that fat over here in my bowl slice that fat off the back see I had the fat on there to, uh, I, I told you I left the fat on there to keep the grease going keep the fire going I mean keep the coals hot because it'll drop off uh, grease from the fat see that nothing but meat now you sprinkle down Hey, don't be scared. It's seasoning pretty good and it'll soak on there. That heat did it. Uh, uh, uh. That's good. Bring it on there. Pick that fire a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, it's coming along. I'll be back with the finished look while I'm slicing it, okay? In your mouth. Okay, fam. As you can see, my pork loin is ready. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, my word. I'm getting ready to start slicing, and I'm going to put it in this pan. It should be plenty because there's no bone in it, so. Oh, my word. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to look. Cook inside and out. Look at that. That's the inside. It's fresh. See that? And I smoked it, so that's why it's so tender looking. That's how you want your meat to come out. Everyone loves, almost everyone loves smoked meat. My family loves it. They love when I smoke, smoke my real, even though my even even my next door neighbor. Look at that. See how they've been? Look at that. It's cooked all the way through. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let me finish slicing this up. Man, I'm, get, I'm trying to get, I'm getting better, y'all. But anyway, you'll see my finished look in a little bit. And I just want to say, I should, I might have this uploaded by tomorrow, which will be St. Patrick's Day. So, if it's St. Patrick's Day today and you, you're Irish or whether you're not Irish, happy St. Patrick's Day. I know some people are like, well, um, what do you mean happy? You know, it's not happy times. Like There's stuff going on in the world. Hey, you're alive. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Still be happy and be thankful. In your mouth, I'll be right back with the finished look. All right, fam, I'm finished. Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir, look at that. Filled peas with snaps and okra in it and, and smoked neck bones. Stewed. It's so good. There's my rice. Yes, sir. Parboiled rice is the best. And I don't slice up all my two pork loin. Do you see that? And this chunk, I got a pan full of meat. You can eat on that for days. See what I'm saying? It's a nice little meal you put together for your family. You know, you can, you can, y'all can really create some stuff while you're at home now, spending more time with the family. While they combat this virus and everything, everything gonna be okay. Keep praying. And keep living your life the best way you could. Your boy G. Rich. In your mouth. 
I did it again, fellas. I did it again. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Just a little something, something, you know, to get you through the day. You know. Now, y'all hit me up and let me know what else you want to cook. But the next thing I think I'm going to cook is... Next thing, I got me a list going on while I'm home and I'm off taking care of business and, you know, being here taking care of the house is stewed chicken wings. It's going to be stewed chicken wings with onions and celery in it. It's real good. It's a real good, easy recipe. And I'll show you all the seasons that I'm going to put in it. Okay? Love y'all to life. Your boy G. Rich out. In your mouth.